Hello, welcome back everyone. So when we last left, we had been working a little bit on getting some livestock farming started. I bred these cows a little bit. There's a few babies in here. And now enough of them are adults that you can have two pairs breeding at once. As you can see, we just feed them both a, a wheat and they they can find each other. They'll uh, enter love mode, as it's called, and make babies. Baby cows. It takes 20 minutes for them to grow up. So, I thought we'd go out and get some other livestock. And go out and look for some chickens and some sheep. Because... Uh, we can, it takes different things to attract different animals to your, to follow you. So, it takes seeds to attract chickens, and it takes wheat to attract sheep. We need potatoes to attract pigs, so we won't be getting those in this video. I don't yet have any potatoes. We're going to have to find some before we can plant them and start attracting them. So I didn't have to walk far and I found some chickens. Often you will find that chickens, sheep, cows, and pigs are created by the game nearby where you start. There's a certain maximum number of mobs that can be created by the game once. As you see, if you move too fast, they, they if you move too fast, they lose you and stop following. So we need to turn around and make sure they're following us. If we get too far away, we have to go back and find them again. Oops, ended up in the water there. So that was easy. Sometimes it's not that easy. Let's put our chickens in here. And then we will use that trick I showed you earlier. Oh wait, this is where we were going to put the sheep, as I recall. So we better fix that. Yes, the other ones don't have grass in the bottom, so come here little chickens. You get to live climbed out while I was messing around with the dirt. Just turn those seeds back on. And voila. They're back in their place where they belong. And we can go and find some sheep. So, now we have to find sheep. Well, we've been all over the top of that hill there. I don't think I've done that on camera. But I grabbed a bunch of dirt from over here. And it's a hill of some size, so why don't we just head up to the top there, even though I know there's nothing up there. We can see... Oh, I take it back. There are pigs up here. <laughs> we can't get the pigs right now, because we don't have potatoes. See, there's another one right there. Alright, so we're going to climb to the top of this tree, and see if we can find any animals, just by looking around. You can see, we can see our livestock pens, our sugarcane farm, and our farm fields, a little enderman hut, enderman slain hut. It looks kind of cool from here, doesn't it? You can see at the top of this hill here, there aren't any animals as far as we can see. You can't really see into that forest. The trees are too thick. There could be things down there, but we wouldn't be able to see them. And then there's some little islands. We don't see anything on those. And we've got the jungle. The jungle is hard to see through. There's something over there. I want to go check that out soon. But let's go find some sheep first. Alright, 
right, so we're going to head down. We can just kind of slow fall down those vines, slide down carefully. We'll come back for these pigs later when we have potatoes. And what I think we'll do next is we'll climb up on top of some of these jungle trees that are really tall and see if we can see any sheep. That's not going to go all the way to the top of this one, though. You have to be careful climbing to the top of these really tall trees. If we were to fall from here, it would hurt pretty bad. It might kill us. So we're going to be careful. Let's see. Yeah, that looks like a ruined nether portal. I recently got a request to create a nether portal on video, so we'll be doing that soon. But we'll go investigate that before that. There's usually some treasure near those portals. But we can't really see very much from here. We can see this flower island a little bit. And we can see some birch forest and some more flower fields over there, but we're too far away to see any animals. Can't see any animals other than those cows that we left over here, over there. Jungle is still in the way of seeing that direction, so let's go that way a little bit farther. Careful. Looks like those vines go all the way down. We're going to carefully go down these vines. And we're going to climb across the canopy here. over there will be a little bit easier. Oops, didn't catch those vines. Let's put our bread in our hand so we can eat. Do a little jumping. Ah, there we go. A little Tarzan there. Oof, did not manage to stop that fall. And we're going to eat our food. As you can see, when our hunger is one and a half points below maximum, we don't heal, but when we fill it up, we do. And how much you heal depends on the food that you eat. Oh boy. Considering what happened the last time, I'm not sure I want to try that trick again. How far is that jump? can't jump very far. I don't think we'll quite make that jump. No, we did. All right. We're okay. We can see a little bit more of it starting to get dark. So we're just going to lay down our bed and camp out for the night. Very important when you go exploring to take a bed with you. Because if you try and explore at night, monsters will spawn and they will kill you. You might kill them, but there's more of them than there are of you. And as you can see, we're out of food, so we're not going to be able to heal ourselves anymore until we get back home. Well, actually, we can turn some of this wheat we brought with us into bread. And given that this is a hardcore game, we should do that. We have to be careful with our health. Make sure that we always have plenty. Oops, there we go crafting table, eat this bread, and then let's begin exploring again. I see something over there. It's too big to be a... too big to be a chicken. It's probably a sheep. Let's go get it. Let's see if these creepers go all the way down to the ground. Looks like they do. Carefully go down. And we're going to head off that direction. Catch ourselves, or lure ourselves as the case may be, a sheep. Got a hole here. There could be monsters down there. Anytime we go by something like that, we need to be careful. Usually we won't gawk and stare down the hole. Alright. 
kind of fun exploring. A lot of people, that's all they want to do when they play Minecraft. Run around and explore. And we could do more of that too. If you'd like to see more of that, be sure to let me know. The comments aren't a bad place to do that. Comment section of the video. There's one sheep. Let's find two sheep and then take them all. Where we can find one sheep, we can often find more sheep, as you can see. Uh, when the game randomly generates these passive animals, it will generate them in groups of, well, it varies from animal to animal. I think for sheep it's two to six. It might be one to four. I think it also depends somewhat on the version of the game you're playing. And this is Java edition that we're playing. Those sheep swim slow. So we're going to try, rather than swimming straight across this river, we're going to try and lead them over land as much as possible. Even they're climbing those vines. <laughs> you can see that that's what's happened because they moved up slowly rather than jumping. We missed this one. Let's bring them with us. Oops. Didn't mean to do that. Well, now that they're in love mode, we're going to have a mate. It'd be a shame to waste the wheat. They only stay in love mode for, I think, five minutes. By the time we get back, they might not be happy to make little sheep anymore, the lambs. Of course this game's going to call them all sheep. <laughs> it doesn't differentiate that way. And we've picked up a cow. Alright, well, since this island has sort of become our beta site for livestock, why don't we just leave a couple of sheep here? That way if a creeper comes along and blows up our livestock, we don't lose all of them. Let's see if I can attract just the sheep. If I want to, I can push these guys around. I'm going to try and just get... Come on, sheep. Oh. This cow is in the way. Let's try this way. Come on, little sheep. Very good, very good. Turn it off. Looks like there's no way around it. We're going to end up attracting that cow. We'll try a little bit longer. All right, good, good. Got it. All right, so we've got two sheep on this island and two cows. It's enough to get another breeding pair. Should disaster strike. Chickens aren't as hard to deal with. We can store chicken eggs in chests and just throw a whole bunch of them. I think there's a roughly a 1 in 4 chance. It might be less than that. It might only be 1 in 10. But I'm uh, pretty sure it's about 1 in 4 chance of getting a chicken from an egg. In Minecraft, the chicken does come before the egg. Little joke for you. Alright, let's put these guys in their place. Their place has the grass on it, so we'll drop them in here, and then we will get this all set up. Oh, and did we see the problem? Okay, let's get you back where you belong in your little trench. Come along, sheep. Thank you. All right. little faster this time. And I want to put grass in that last little spot that, that sheep is standing on. So we're going to lure them away with our wheat. And then we're going to go back with our pick. 
pickaxe and dig up that rock. Lay down the stone and the uh, dirt. Pick up the stone. There we go. Let's see if... Nope. One of those was the one we'd already bred. Just wasted a wheat. Oh well. All right. I don't have to worry about that too much because in another day or two we could definitely harvest this field. We could harvest it now. It is not quite as ripe as I'd like. One more day would probably be good. Maybe two. All right. So now we have chicken and sheep and cows. It's been a little while since we fed our chicken and cows, so let's feed them so that we can get some more. Should have fed those chickens immediately. I forgot to do that. Now, we'll feed the cows. There's four of them now, so we'll feed four of them. If there were three, we would only feed two of them. Love mode does not even last five minutes, it looks like. I just fed the other one, hoping that maybe the first one would still be in love mode. We just wasted another wheat. <laughs> oh well. Moving on. Let's just eat, since we're... Bread gives you two and a half, and we're at two. I'm just going to eat so that we have some saturation, they call it some invisible hunger points. Well, they're called saturation points by the community anyway that determine how much you heal when you fall and stuff like that. Since we're so close to full, not overflowing much, I decided to fill that up. So that if we do take any damage, we'll just heal immediately without losing any of our hunger points. That's an advanced subject that I won't talk about it anymore for now, but, all right, we have a little time left in this video, why don't we go check out that portal, just because it looks interesting. One of the things we're going to need to do soon, <coughs> we are going to need, if we're going to be building our own nether portal, we're going to need to find of those ink sacks that some squid dropped when it suffocated, asphyxiated. Um, wow, look at that. It looks like the forest is on fire. Let's go check it out. Anyway, one of the things we're going to need if we want to build a portal to the nether, we're going to need obsidian to build a portal. If we had a diamond pick, we could mine the obsidian right here and take it back with us. Stuff's on fire! You know, we can put out these fires and just have to swat it a little bit. Those are magma blocks. That hurt us when we stood on it. We're going to try and not do that. I'm going to put out all of these fires. Those fires can spread. You'll notice that we picked up a grass seed. The reason we picked up a grass seed is because I believe why we picked up that grass seed was because uh, um, the reason we picked up that grass seed, I think, is because the fire destroyed a grass block. And there's always a chance you destroy a grass block of getting a seed. We can see here that what looks like happened is this, this uh, post and lintel were sitting up right here to form a portal. Or no, sitting up right about here to form a portal. If we placed that thing right here, upright with the L across the top, we would have a shape that would work for another portal. Another portals have to be at least four blocks across and at least five blocks high. As you can see, that's a little bit more than five blocks high. So we've got this little lava here. It's 
flowing downward, it looks like. It's interesting. <laughs> there must be a hole underneath this what the what would be this lava source block here. Well what is this lava source block here? There must be a hole underneath it and it's flowing down into it. That's kinda cool looking. So let's see what we found. Ooh, we found a sword with fire aspect on it. That sets things on fire. And boots with frost walker. That makes you run a little faster on ice. And two pieces of obsidian. Very nice. And a flint and steel, which we can use to make fire. Which we would need if we wanted to make another portal. A little spoiler there. Well, there's not a whole lot here. It's already nighttime. We really should sleep. We're gonna get jumped by zombies if we keep staying active at night. We're gonna get attacked by zombies. I do like the way that little magma block bleh, magma block glows. Isn't that fun? I like it. Oh. Oh. I mined that gold block with a stone pick and it broke and didn't give me the gold block. I wasn't paying attention. I should have done that. With an iron pick if I had done it with an iron pick, we would have the gold block, and we could eat it too. There's the zombies that spawned during the night time before I went to sleep. As you can see, they burn during the day, out in broad daylight. Oh, that's a disappointment, losing that gold block. I had uses for that gold. Oh well. This here is nether rack. It uh, breaks very easily, as you can see, and burns up in lava. That was the sound you just heard, if you heard it. We're going to grab a little of this nether rack and take it back with us. Not because it's particularly useful, but because there is something we can make out of it, we can unlock a recipe. So I'll take that with us. Let's grab. This little stone slab and the stair, this mossy stone slab, just to see if it unlocks some recipes for us. There's a cracked stone block. Let's grab one of those. There we go. New recipe. There's a stone block, regular stone block. We don't really need that. mossy stone block, which will unlock a recipe for us. Let's grab this not mossy stone block. That'll unlock some recipes for us. And now we've created a potentially dark space. I just like it to, as a rule of thumb, place torches in such places. All right. I think that's about it for here. Oh, I'm still disappointed about that gold block I broke. I don't know about you guys, but uh, one of the things that we can use gold for, that I like to do early on, as early as possible, is to make a clock. It's kind of like this compass that we have here. But what it does is tell you where the sun is in the sky or where the moon is in the sky. Effectively, it tells you what time of day it is. And that is very helpful when you can't just look up at the sky to see what time of day it is. When you're down mining under the ground, you might wonder, is it safe for me to go back up top? It might be nighttime. There could be creepers out there. There might be one of them that tries to ambush me and blow me up the second I come out of the mine. If you have a clock, you know the answer to that question. Generally speaking, anyway. So, I can hear our livestock. That was a cow, I think. Since they reminded us they're so hungry, let's feed them. Two, three, four, I think there might be six here now. 
Yeah, that looks like six. All right, so we'll feed three pairs. This is going to be full up real soon. This is a very short. That's six, seven, eight, nine, ten. A very short little pen. We need some more grass so we can feed our chickens. I would like to feed our sheep, but we don't have any wheat left. I suppose that means it's time to harvest our field. Well, that takes a few minutes. And we should be ending this video in the next few minutes, so I won't do that. I'll harvest this sugar cane and that field and feed our livestock a little bit more in between videos. <coughs> so we have to decide what we're going to do next. We have the goal of building another portal. To do that, we are going to need either a diamond pick so that we can mine those obsidian blocks set them up somewhere, maybe right there where they're at, in a door shape. Or we need to grab some lava and turn it into obsidian. If we were to grab that lava source block, I should have showed you that while I was over there. Um, if we grab that lava source block and uh, run it over here, say somewhere like here, where we want, might want to build another portal. We don't actually want to build one there, but say we did. Um, if we pour water on a lava source block, it turns into obsidian. So there's two ways. You can harvest lava blocks, lava source blocks, and you can lay them out in the shape that you want, and then uh, set fire inside of it to make another portal, or you can take uh, mine the obsidian blocks directly, which takes a while, it's pretty slow. Unless you have really good tools. Even then it's kind of slow. Um, we can mine the, the obsidian blocks and then place them in a door shape and light a fire inside of it, like I said, to create another portal. Given that we have an almost complete nether portal just over there, it might be faster for us to make a diamond pickaxe and just set those blocks upright in the shape they're supposed to be in. Otherwise, I would say let's take our buckets, let's go down into these mines, let's find some lava, and then let's carry it somewhere and turn it into a door. Now, building a door is pretty simple. Yeah, we can just lay stuff out in a door shape. I'll do it with dirt, so it, it's quick and easy. This shape of a door would work if it was, if these were obsidian blocks, we could just light a fire right here and it would turn into a nether portal. You can see laying out the blocks is easy, but with an unenchanted diamond pick, it takes eight to nine seconds, as I recall, to mine a block of obsidian. That takes a while. But running down into the mine and grabbing 20 lava source blocks will probably take longer, so we could just mine it with a diamond pick, which we don't have diamonds for yet. Oh no, we do have diamonds for it. Okay. Um, the other way of doing it involves a process they call casting, and that works like this. Basically, you lay out a shape And then you fill that shape 
with lava source blocks. We're going to pretend that water is lava. <laughs> I'll show you how it works. So if this were lava, and then we poured water over top of it, these four blocks would turn into obsidian. And then we can do the same thing for the next layer up. We lay it out like this. And then just do the same thing again, laying down lava source blocks and pouring water on them. We do that until we got all the way up to the top. That is a process called casting. That's what they call the process in real life when you create a mold and then pour something molten into it and then cool it off to get it to uh, take on the solid form that you wish. That is called casting. Make a shovel. It's kind of ridiculous to be doing this with our bare hands. It takes a long time. All right, and now we're going to fill in that trench so that we don't have water flowing all over our camp when we dig it up or when we dig out this mold. So that is how casting works. And I may do casting rather than mining, just to show you how it works. It's kind of neat, interesting, fun, I think, to work by casting. <laughs> but uh, if we if we do that, then if we mine those obsidian blocks over there, we can use them for other things. We can uh, use them to make an enchanting table, which is something that's going to be important very soon. So anyway, that's about it for this video. We have our, our goal of building another portal before us. Um, we're still pretty poorly equipped. We're running around in iron gear and mostly using stone tools. We did find a couple of interesting gold equipment pieces. Unfortunately, gold is not very strong. You see we get 9 damage with the stone axe and it attacks 0.8 times per second. This one does 4 attack damage and attacks 1.8 times, or 1.6 times per second, which is twice as fast as this axe. But yet, even if we were to be attacking twice as fast and never miss an attack charge time, we still would not be doing as much damage as that stone axe over the same amount of time. So you can see gold weapons and armor are pretty weak. This uh, armor here only has one armor when on the feet, and this one has two armor when on the feet. So iron's better than gold. The nice thing about gold is that it's easier to enchant. You can have more powerful enchantments on it than you can have on iron gear or stone gear or stuff like that. So if you have good enchantments, like this fire aspect, we'd actually deal more damage over time with this sword than with this axe because when someone is burning, they take damage over time. And that would end up doing a little bit more damage than this axe. So we might just use this sword for a little while, just for fun. Usually, by the time I find one of these fancy swords, I've already found enough diamonds to have a diamond sword that's just much better. Now we do have some diamonds. We could make a diamond sword. But, just for fun, we're going to use this gold sword for a little while. Anyway, that's, as I said, about it for this video. We'll do another video again real soon, after I've dealt with some of the chores that don't really need to be done on camera, like harvesting our fields. 
feeding our animals, as you saw. I'll do that some more, and I think I'll go down and look in our mine and see if there's any lava down there that we haven't yet scooped up. If there is, then we can start casting another portal. Um, if there isn't, then it'll probably be a lot faster to mine those obsidian blocks, and that's what we'll do instead. We'll see you next time. Have a good one. Thanks for watching.